services that we offer our customers along with uh, marketing information and uh, contact information for when our customers want to market their calves or market their uh, backgrounded animals or their fat steers. Uh, we have contact information that are numbers that they can call and, and get uh, pricing on. But on, on a, a more performance record, uh, service that we can offer, and we do offer this for several of our repeat customers, or we can for any new customer on animals that he's purchased elsewhere. Uh, what we can do is put those animals into a worksheet, and then we can generate a bar graph of what the average herd bull that he has. If you had a group of bulls that were weak on growth, we can match you up with bulls that are really strong in growth. If you had a bar graph that was weak or had birth weights too high, we got animals that we can match up with animals that are really uh, strong in calving ease. So it's a tool to use that's available and we are willing to offer that as a service to our customers. All the animals are performance tested in one database here for the benefit of our customer. We express a strong interest in developing reliable data for our customers. You know, kind of what we have here at Ross Sherford, what Grandpa and Jerry and my dad and uncles um, have built up is, is um, you know, volume selection over the past, you know, 60 years of breeding. Volume selection is a broad term, uh, and what I like to say is we have several numbers that fit a criteria that you're looking for. In other words, uh, we can do it in volume so that we can screen them and have volume supply at the top end of the breed. And we have a record of every bull he's purchased from us. We can put those bulls into a group and then print a bar graph for any of our given customers. From that bar graph of the bulls that he has purchased from us, uh, he can decide that uh, it's a given that if this is the genetics he's been putting into his cow herd, that's about what his cow herd is going to look like if he had the data on his cow herd. So in other words, this group of cows would also be low in marbling. And if he wanted to add that, that would be a, th a trait that he would look for in the next bull he purchases to put into his bull, herd bull value. Uh, we have several of our customers that we do that for, and we will do it for any customer that requests it from us. We can do that even with animals that he has purchased from other breeders. All we need is the registration number of the bulls that he has at home in his herd bull battery, and we can generate this for him so that he knows where he's at genetic-wise, in his cow herd. You know, kind of our philosophy is volume breeding and then just selecting the very, very, very top cream of the crop, and that's that's what we sell. You know, the majority of our steer calves, or majority of our bull calves still get steered sent to the feedlot. And by selecting off of the cream of the crop of a large calf crop and sending two-thirds of the bulls to the steer pens to go on for further data collecting there, we have a large number at the top end of the Hertford breed because we are comparing them to the average of the Hertford breed. And so it's only just the very top, you know, 30% every year that makes the cut and then a lot of them even get weeded off. Jerry's got, Jerry, sharp knife. Jerry's got a sharp knife. Yeah, he, um, they've got to be pretty darn good in order to the past year's approval. We sell about 200 bulls a year, so that leaves about 70 bulls, extra bulls that we have. Uh, 
that we sell private treaty through the year, which are most of those, or half of those, are for heifer, yearling heifers. They're light birth weight bulls, and the rest of them are cow bulls. Male calves born on this place, which is about 65% uh, that we steer, and background to about 850 pounds. And then they go to the feed yard and we retain ownership on them and sell them uh, and fatten them at a feed yard close to Greater Omaha. Our catalog, we provide this bar graph on every animal that's registered that's in our catalog. It's a quick way to see the strengths and the weaknesses both things are important when selecting an animal. Yeah, that, that's, that's the fun thing I think about the cattle industry is it's, it's as unique as the people that are raising the cattle. Everybody's got their own what drives them, you know, what they strive for in their herds.